Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Feelers. And today I had a little problem. I had to add this logo into a brochure and the brochure was in black and white. But when I tried to turn it into a black and white, it didn't come out quite like I wanted to. So I'm gonna show you one solution on how to solve this. So let's get started. So here we have a logo. I'm going to duplicate it. So we have the original, Controller Command J. And I'll take this one and I'm going to go to adjustments. And this is what I normally would do and I'd go black and white. The problem with this is I lost the shading in the back. And then also the phone number and website were barely noticeable. So of course, if I keep the black and white open, I could bring some of the shading back. And that's not bad, except I like the NJ Boom to be white. And then the I would really like probably the phone number and these numbers to be black. Now I could redo them, but if they're a strange font that I don't own, um, I'd rather keep their font. So here's how I solve this. And also this back, look how dark that as you lose the city and I can get it maybe to here, which is a good amount of shading, I think. But once again, the NJ Boom then is not really standing out, which is the name of their company. I'm not promoting this company, by the way. They do not promote me. I'm just using this as an example because I had to put this in somebody's brochure. So here's what I decided I was going to do. We have a copy in the background of the original and I'll work out one piece at a time. So the first piece I want to think about is how do I want this shading in the back? So when I went to the black and white, do I want it that dark? Just Let's just look at this right here. To the top half, do I want it that dark? Do I want it lighter? It's not affecting the helicopter, which is good. So I'm kind of thinking that this is enough of a contrast without it being too dark up here. So I like that. So let's do that. And then what I'm doing now is I am going to add a layer mask to that. And if I add a layer mask and I paint in black, I'll take a paintbrush and paint in black, I am going to bring back the orange and I'll bring back everything down here. And that's pretty good. So now, as far as I'm concerned, from the cityscape and up looks pretty good. So I'll leave that like that. So now I am going to once again duplicate the bottom layer, Controller Command J. And once again, I'm going to go to adjustments, black and white. So there we go. So now the NJ Boom, I love this now because the NJ Boom, which is the name of the company, is clear as can be. If I want to play with it all, once again, I have issues. I'm going to keep that exactly the way it is, just like that. And then I'm going to say I'm done. So I'm going to add a mask to that and paint in black. And this is the part. I'm concerned about. So I'll just leave that just like that. That looks good. So now we can take the last one and I can actually work on the last one or I can duplicate it, but I'll just work on the last one. Once again, I'm going to go adjustments, black and white. And this time I'm going to bring the letters very dark. And why is it the bottom? Oh, I must have missed on the bottom. So let's go back to this one and paint the mask in black. Just make sure I got it all. There we go. And so there you go. So that's a big difference. So now I can save that. I can group it or I can just say layer merge visible and the top layer is the is the visible one. I can get rid of all of these. I can hide everything else. So there you go. So now I have a nice black and white logo I can place into a brochure without worrying about losing some of the detail that I, I didn't like when I originally did a black and white. Now I'm sure there's other ways of doing this. If you want to comment, that would be great. Maybe just let people know how else you would do it. But it, I found this to be pretty useful and it doesn't really happen that often. Most of the time when I use the black and white and I scroll the bars, it works really well but sometimes it just doesn't work that well. So I hope you liked this video, and if you did, 
please click like and subscribe. And thank you and have a good day.